Hey, good morning. Happy Sunday, everyone. Rob here from Southwest Florida Television. Beautiful morning here. I'm down in Area 1 at Del Norwegian's Pass State Park in North Naples, Florida. Veterans Day. Today is Veterans Day. An extended weekend for many of us. Please remember to take the time to honor our veterans. If you know a veteran, shake their hand, give them a hug. It's because of them that we can come to the beach and have our picnics and barbecues on this holiday weekend. Absolutely gorgeous out here. The waves breaking on the sandbars. Low tide's a couple hours away. So, I don't know, 9.30, I think 9.30 is when low tide is. It's gorgeous out here. If there's anything interesting out here on this sandbar this morning. Pretty darn nice. No red tide, at least no red tide warnings here at Del Nor Wiggins. To the north of us, they're still dealing with red tide, especially up around Ophelia. seeing much of anything out here on this sandbar this morning. Not even, well, we were seeing, we were seeing a lot of cockles the past several days, cockle shells, live cockles out here. I don't see any on this sandbar down in area one. Beautiful out here though as we look out into the gulf. Pretty flat out there. Nice and blue. Picking up the blue from the sky. Looking up the beach. Our mile-long beach at Del Nor Wiggins. There's some little sand dollars out here. There's a nice little sand dollar. Unfortunately, it's not alive. Fortunate if you want to take it home as a souvenir, but sad that it's dead. 
a lot of dead sand dollars because of the red tide. There's another one. These are just little babies. You can see there's quite a few of them all out here. This is down in area one. Wow. The more I look, the more I see. Look at them all down here. They're everywhere. Everywhere. Lots and lots of little baby sand dollars. Down there, see them all? There's one. There's one over there. One thing I have not seen since the red tide outbreak is sea stars. We used to find lots of nine-armed sea stars out here on these sandbars. And I am not seeing any of them lately. I haven't seen any nine-armed sea stars for months. Just dead ones, a couple dead ones, no live ones. As most of you know, I love coming out here on these sandbars and a good look at our beach. I just love the view from out here. I'm gonna take a quick photo here. It's a great look back at our beach at Del Norwegians, almost the entire beach. There's a little more behind me to the right. But that's a good look at our beach. Beautiful blue sky. Don't go anywhere, I'll be right back. Okay, as promised, here I am. <laughs> Isn't that gorgeous? Those reflections in the water are what I really enjoy. Just that wet sand up there reflecting the trees and the sky. Got a few birds up here at the end of this sandbar. Looks like maybe a couple turns, some seagulls. Yep, as I walk along, there's just piles, piles of sand dollars. Look at them down here, piles of them. There's three. Oh, doesn't take much for the waves to wash them away. So if you wanna add a couple of little sand dollars to your collection, hurry up and come on down to area one at Del Nor Wiggins on this beautiful Sunday morning. These are all little baby sand dollars out here though. I haven't seen any big ones. Pieces of some big ones. Oh my goodness, they are everywhere though, everywhere I'm looking. 
All right. Oh, there's a bigger one, a little bigger one. That's a little bigger. Absolutely gorgeous morning. A beautiful day for Veterans Day. Perfect weather here. Nice little breeze. I'm at the very north end of Area 1 Beach. The very north end of Area 1 Beach. gulls, some terns here, a couple of willets, sandpipers. Look at that wet sand, it's like a mirror. It's like glass there. Absolutely beautiful. It's gorgeous. Sky is absolutely beautiful. Little waves breaking out there on the sandbar. A dolphin just came up. I just saw a dolphin. I just saw a dolphin come up. I don't know which way it was headed. I think it's headed down to the there. Did you see it? See if we see it again. It's moving kind of fast, moving towards the left. One lone dolphin. There, did you see it come up? Oh, maybe two of them. eyes peeled there. There was one, two. I hope you can see them. Might even be three. The light's not working right now in my favor. They're kind of blending in with the water. You can just kind of see this sun reflecting off of them. They're 
definitely out there. Sweet. Sweet, sweet. Maybe we'll see him one more time. Yeah, uh, I see him. I'm sure you can't see him though in the camera. Darn it. I hope you got a look at him there. That was... Finally saw some dolphins. It's been almost a week. Wow. Cross over and get back on the beach here. There's a great view looking up our beach. Isn't that awesome? Isn't that gorgeous? Walk north here, head up the beach a little ways. Well, I am just sinking down into the sand here. Really, really, really soft along the edge. Very hard to walk. Gotta get up higher on the beach. Here's the birds we were looking at earlier, right there on the end of the sandbar. There's something interesting up here. We haven't seen this for a while. A little group of white ibis making their way up the beach. Now you notice there's one that's darker. That is a white ibis. That is a young, an immature white ibis. They're that dark brown, almost black color, the juveniles. But that is a white ibis. As it matures, it will turn white. A lot of people think it's just a different kind of ibis, but no, that's a white ibis. That is a juvenile white ibis. close to these guys. They have the most beautiful blue eyes. Uh, where'd you go? Hard to follow them when I'm zoomed in. I tried. I tried. Too many people walking on the beach here behind me. Maybe we'll see some more a little further up the beach. If I can just stand there, they'll usually stop walking and let me get some good pictures of them. Look at that sky. We are in for another Beautiful but warm day in Southwest Florida.
We're in area two now. We started down in area one this morning. We did get a glimpse at a few dolphins earlier, finally. Water's looking good out here. You can hear an osprey in the pine trees up ahead of us. I think I'm going to cut across and see what's out in the water here. I don't know how deep it is here. Come up a little further. It's a little shallower up here. I see some of our cockle shells on this sandbar. Some of our live cockles out here. If you look very closely, you can see two of them here. There's one down here. Our live cockle shells. The cockles with their heart, when you turn them on their end like that. The cockle heart. Let's see if we can find a bigger one. is out here. I don't see any sand dollars on this sandbar. Oh yeah, I do. Oh yeah. There's one. There's a little sand dollar. the underside. When they're white like this, sadly they're dead, but you can go ahead and take them home. When they're alive, they're a, a brownish color. They actually have like a fuzz all underneath them and you can see their little feet.
moving around when they're alive. When they're white like this, they have been dead for a while. They're also very fragile, very fragile. There's quite a few of them out here, all different sizes. I haven't seen any really big ones this morning yet. North from, from the north end of Area 2 Beach. Another beautiful view. Take a photo, don't go anywhere. Just that blue sky is gorgeous, isn't it, this morning? Reflecting down here on the sandbars. There, that's the boardwalk at the north end of Area 2 Beach. That's another one of my favorite spot, spots to start a beach walk from. More and more people slowly returning to Southwest Florida for the winter months. You can tell there's more and more people showing up at the beach earlier and earlier. It's gonna be an absolutely beautiful, beautiful holiday weekend. Three day weekend for a lot of folks. Remember the reason for this holiday. Don't forget about our veterans. Cutting across here back up onto the beach. hear the osprey. There was an osprey screeching up here in the screeching out up here in the trees. I don't know where he or she went.
How you doing? Good, how are you? Great. You see the tide, how high the tide came up last night up to here. Over that gentleman's walking there with the metal detector, that's where the high tide came up to. I heard an osprey over here earlier, but I do not see it now. in area three now. We started down in area one. We did see two or three dolphins. Didn't tell them any there were. It's kind of hard to see them down in area one. And seen a lot of sand dollars out on the sandbars. I see one of our great blue herons up here. Hopefully it won't fly away before I get up there, but you never know with all these people on the beach. to the north end of area three now. Out on the sandbar once again. These little white birds, those are little snowy egrets out there in front of me. And off in the distance there, you look close, there's one of our great blue heron friends. Strolling out into the water. Fort Myers Beach to the left in the background. Nice and clear this morning. Laley Barefoot Beach, the condos on the right. All the way on the left, Fort Myers Beach there. What an incredible view, huh? An absolutely gorgeous view this morning. Greg Hubert. Good morning, Greg.
Hey, if you're new, if you're watching for the first time, be sure to introduce yourself to the group here. Let everybody know where you're watching from. Don't be afraid to make comments. Doesn't have to be about the beach walk. Feel free to strike up a new friendship here. That's what these beach walks are all about. It's about bringing people together. The only thing I ask is that we stay away from politics. That heron's walked all the way out here. Look at how much beach there is here at low tide now. Just incredible. We were out here yesterday. I just can't believe how much beach there is here. Absolutely amazing how much new beach we have here. get you a closer look at this great blue heron over here on my left. Magnificent birds. Standing well over three feet there, well over three feet. snowy egret. Two little snowy egrets. Where'd this go? Running up the beach. distance, please. Damn it. I hate, I just hate when people do that. We were going to get an incredible look at a blue heron, but somebody got too close and scared it away. Use the brain that's in your head when you're out here, please. If you're gonna take pictures of the birds, you can get relatively close. I mean, don't get closer than 30 feet, maybe. But you gotta walk slow, don't make any sudden movements. Let them get used to you. I see so many people, for the sake of a, of a photo, they just walk through all the birds. Lots of birds sitting on the beach, just so they can get them flying in their social media video. That just ticks me off royally.
really see their yellow feet, the yellow feet on that little snowy when it's walking along. another one. Absolutely gorgeous out here. Look at the sky. I'm going to pan around here. This is our mile-long beach at Del Norwegian's Pass State Park up in North Naples. Low tide right now, low tide, official full low tides at around 9.30. There's a lot of beach to walk on out here right now. That's looking to the east. I'm panning around down towards the south there. No red tide here in North Naples at this beach. out here enjoying the view. We did see a few dolphins earlier this morning. We might get a glimpse of them again. They might come back by. You never know when they're going to be by. I can guarantee if you come out here you can spend the afternoon, spend the day, you will see dolphins swimming along the shore here. careful when you're walking out here. There's lots of little depressions. I don't know if you can see them here. The waves have the sand stirred up. Lots of little ridges. I just stepped in one. Stepped in a hole actually here. Oh. You kind of see the ridges down there. They're actually pretty deep. Snap off another photo. Don't go anywhere. Stay right here. I'll be right back. Always like to take photos during my beach walk and repost them later. Something else I do is I'll repost this video. It'll be here on Facebook. You can watch a replay. I also repost it on YouTube. Sometimes it turns out in a little better quality on YouTube. Especially if we have some connection dropouts during the live feed. The replay is usually better on YouTube. Look at all of this beach. Wow. Saw a lot of little sand dollars earlier. There's a Little Florida fighting conch shell. Hey, if you're new, be sure to introduce yourself to the group. Let everybody know where you're watching from. Most of you know, nobody pays me to come out here and do these beach walks and do these live feeds. I love doing it. I love keeping you updated on what's happening here at our beach in North Naples. But if you want to make a little contribution, it is always appreciated. Definitely comes in handy. Keeps the phone on. <laughs> That's really important for these beach walks.
these little tidal pools. Sometimes you can find some really interesting things in these little tidal pools. spectacular out here this morning. This is looking across. We're at the very south end of Area 4 now, out on the sandbar, looking up to the north. That's area four. That's where Roy hangs out under those, would be hanging out under those trees up there. We all miss Roy. That, those are the condos at Lely Barefoot Beach in the background. And if, as I pan to the left, as slow and steady as I can here, zoomed in with an iPhone, we can see all the way up to Starrow Boulevard, all the way up to Fort Myers Beach, the condos of, on Fort Myers Beach. Absolutely amazing, isn't it? Unfortunately, up north, up towards those condos, are dealing with a little bit of red tide. However, we're good to go here at Del Nor Wiggins in North Naples. Beautiful Sunday. Good morning. Good morning. I am Rob. Oh, I'm Cassie. Nice to meet you. Hi, how are you? I'm a big fan. Well, thank you. Welcome, welcome. I'm from Germany. Yeah, I can tell. <laughs> I've seen a lot of videos. Really? Well, thank you. It's very nice here now. Yeah. You came at a good time. A couple months ago, it was very bad. We had the red tide yeah. with all the dead fish. It was bad. Did you see the dolphins this morning? No. No, you don't. They'll be back. Okay. <laughs> they come back all day, you know, slowly swimming back and forth. Okay. But it's just beautiful. Well, thanks for watching. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> oh, that is... That just happens more and more as we approach our winter months here. Somebody from Germany introducing themselves. They, they watch me all the time over in Germany. That is awesome. That really makes me feel good. It's just amazing how many people watch these beach walks and how many people have actually come together to become personal friends through these beach walks. That's why I said, don't be shy in the comments. You don't have to talk about the beach. Let people know where you're from, what your hobbies are, your interests, and I'll bet you're gonna find somebody that shares the same things, the same interests and hobbies. You're gonna make a new friend. That happened to me yesterday, two different times on the beach. It's just amazing how international our followers are. Look at the difference in the levels here. See that beach up there? That is 
probably about six feet higher than where I'm standing. Absolutely amazing. I see some pieces of big broken sand dollars down here, so I'm assuming there's some big sand dollars out in the water here. We saw small ones earlier. Yeah, there's a piece of an old nautica shell there. You can see the top of it. Not been finding many shells lately. There's a fighting conch. A little fighting conch that just rolled up onto the beach. These are fairly common. The fighting conch shells. Everybody picks up one or two of these and takes them home. little breeze hitting me in the back here that's what we need keep blowing that red tide away from us blow it offshore looking down to the south absolutely gorgeous the little waves breaking as they hit the sandbars out here The Gulf of Mexico is a lot calmer than the Atlantic Ocean. Very calm on the Gulf side of Florida. There's that beautiful sky. Look at that. You can hear that. I'm sure you can hear that wind hitting the mic. Lady had a big sand dollar that just walked by. You tend to find them more out in the water, the bigger sand dollars. Just make sure they're not alive when you take them home. That's the only rules. Don't take anything alive home from the beach except yourself. And maybe your significant other depends if you want to take them home with you. Another nice little Florida fighting conch shell down here.
It's beautiful here as I walk along area four, looking up to the north. The beaches, we're definitely seeing signs of more and more people at the beach in the, in the mornings now. Season is definitely kicking in, starting to kick in. Look at that. Got a nice Good morning. view of area five there there's actually some beach along here that's usually all underwater so you can walk along the beach and get up around the corner here up to the north to Wiggins Pass Roy's, Roy's Beach here. Roy's Beach, area four. Pretty obvious that we are at low tide. Oh, it's absolutely beautiful up here in Area 4. Absolutely gorgeous.
Hey, hit that share button. Let your friends know what you're watching. Have them join in with us here. Do take the time to check out my photos and videos. See how low the tide is. There's people out there. You can see them walking around on the sandbars up by Wiggins Pass. That's Fort Myers Beach over on the left there. All those condos. Right there, that beach there. Usually, there's no beach to walk on right along the trees there, but because of the low tide, we have a little beach now up in Area 5. All washed away. Started with Hurricane Irma in 2017. It's slowly washing away. Almost walked the entire beach here. Started down in area one. Came up to area five here, the south end of area five. Beautiful Sunday morning, Veterans Day. Starting to see more and more boats heading out.
if you enjoy these beach walks and you want to make a little contribution that's always appreciated every little bit helps nobody pays me to be out here doing this I love doing it I love keeping you updated here on our beach in North Naples especially with on, about the water conditions Well, here's a really old crown conch that I just picked up. That's an old one, lost all its color. An old crown conch. That's a keeper, even though it's all faded out. Oh, darn it. A tulip shell, but it's broken. Thought it was a little, nice little tulip shell. But it's got a big chip in the side. I think that's a nutmeg shell. I'm not 100% sure. I believe that's a nutmeg. A little nutmeg shell. These little flats that get exposed at the low tides are where you really gotta check for, for the shells. Wow. Another old crown conch. Look at that one. That's a really old crown conch there. That's cool. Another piece of an old tulip shell, a broken tulip shell. Let's find a nice new clean shell <laughs> that's a you see the tulips are beautiful what else is it out here That's about it. There's been a lot of people out here shelling this morning. If you do come out here to do some shelling, if you get out here early in the morning, especially when it's low tide, I would suggest you start either up at Wiggins Pass and make your way south or start in area three and make your way north and shells the nice shells seem to be more at the north end of the park lately There's a little cockle shell buried in the sand, half of a cockle shell. 
Saw some live cockles this morning. There's half a cockle shell. Water is absolutely gorgeous out here. It's beautiful. A little earlier, I was mentioning that nobody pays me to come out here. And every once in a while, people do send a little contribution. And it always is appreciated. I want to thank everybody that has done that. If you want to do it, you can find my PayPal account info in the description of this post. I mean, it's not expected, but it's always nice. It definitely helps with the phone bills and other little incidentals. Look at this water. No red tide is the good news here at Del Norwegian's Pass State Park. No red tide. That is the word. Uh, that was me. That's me taking a couple of pictures. Those little interruptions there. those reflections. Beautiful. The dolphins are out here somewhere. We did see a couple earlier this morning. They are definitely out here somewhere. They're just on their own schedule. Swimming up and down the beach. That sun is getting bright. Ooh. Clear skies, super bright sun out here. Gonna be a warm one today. Gonna be a warm one. Beautiful, beautiful blue sky though, look at that. where I am walking during high tide. This is all underwater out here. A 
all this beach you see in front of me here, during high tide, it's underwater. This is where the water comes up to, right here at high tide. There's a dolphin. There's people look staring out into the water. They might have spotted some dolphins way out offshore. Yep, there's. Darn it. I don't know if we're going to be able to see them. Keep looking. I don't know where they're, it's going to come up, how many there were. Huh. They're staying under for a really long time. Where did they go? Huh. I saw one come up and now I don't know where it went. Oh well, sorry about that. My screen has gone dark on me. Once again, These darn iPhones, when they get out in the sun too long, get start warming up. The darn screens go black. anything now. I can, I can just see the faint outline of the horizon on the screen. Well, as we take this final look up to the north on this beautiful Sunday day, Sunday morning. Remember, it is Veterans Day. Please honor our veterans. Take the time to shake the hand of a veteran. Give him or her a hug. If you know a veteran, thank them for their services. Remember the reason for this holiday weekend. And be sure to tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Do, do take the time to check out my photos and videos and share them with your friends. If you find something you like, hit the share button. I see an osprey flying around out there on a mission, it looks like. Anyway, 
Have a wonderful, wonderful Sunday. Have a fun and safe holiday weekend. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.